Hi, I'm Bill Aaron with Engineered Corrosion Solutions. We're here today to install an ECS wall-mounted nitrogen generator. There's three different wall-mounted nitrogen generators. There's the PGen3, the PGen5, and the PGen10. Today, we're going to be working with the PGen5. The first step is to install the mounting bracket on a properly supported wall. Once that's been done, the nitrogen generator can be lifted and set in place on the bracket for the installation on the wall. After the nitrogen generator has been securely mounted on the wall, the first thing we want to do is we want to verify that the electrical connections are correct. So with the power off, we want to double check and make sure that our connections are correct. The wall-mounted nitrogen generators work, work off of a 120-volt circuit, dedicated circuit. 120-volt power is connections. The black wire is going to be connected to L1. The neutral wire is going to be connected to the N or neutral, that's the white wire. And then the green wire is going to be connected to ground. Now that the electrical connections have been verified to be correct, let's check and make sure that our plumbing connections are, are correct. Plumbing connections for the wall-mounted nitrogen generators are a half-inch connection on the side of the unit going out to your sprinkler supply line. And it appears like all of our connections are, are correct. Now that we've verified that the nitrogen supply line is correct, our next step will be to check and verify we've got a drain connection from the nitrogen generator to a drain or at least to a drainage cup or storage tray. The connection is on the bottom of the unit on the right hand side. In some applications, your customer may want to monitor the nitrogen generator for different output functions. The nitrogen generator comes with four outputs. Those four outputs are nitrogen generator running, bypass alarm, power monitoring, and leak monitoring. The, the generator running will activate any time the nitrogen generator is turned on. So it's going to cycle on and off a, along with the nitrogen generator. That output is this first output right here. Your connections are in these terminal blocks right here. The second output is the bypass alarm. Bypass alarm is any time that we're running straight air into your sprinkler system and not running nitrogen. That connection will be the second connection. The third connection is power monitoring. That's monitoring the power source inside the nitrogen generator and can be used to determine whether or not you've got a commercial power failure. The last connection, the fourth connection, is a leak monitor. The nitrogen generator is designed to operate for up to two hours at a given time. If it runs for more than four hours, that output would then activate. This concludes the installation portion of a wall-mounted nitrogen generator. If you have any questions, you can either contact us on our website at ecscorrosion.com or you can call us at 314-432-1377. Thank you.